So today I discovered that I can install a progressive web app by using Google Chrome. Okay, let's just first take a look to Google Chrome. And when I do an update to this version, at least for now, I discovered that there is an option. Let's just open first smashingmagazine.com. And when I see, and when I just click here, I see that I haven't installed then the name of the website. And this option is enabled for any website that they already have a progressive web app. Okay, let's just open Twitter. So let's just go to Twitter and click here. And as you see here, I haven't installed Twitter. If I open a website that doesn't have this, this functionality, okay, let's just go to full stack library as an example, which I don't enable, or if I don't, I, I don't have this option, at least for now, you see that I don't have this install. And what does install mean exactly? So a progressive web app it will just behave as a real application. And let's just install it and see what we have. And this message will prompt with this message. Okay, let's just install it. Then it will be located right here on application grow Chrome apps. If you are a Mac operating system user. Okay, I have smashing magazine dodge app. Okay, let's just install another one. Okay, install. And I have Twitter and I can have so many shortcuts of the website that I'm, that I'm using or any website that they already have this option, this option right here. And it's super useful because we'll have all of your website or all of the web app that you have access into and as applications and it's, it's super cool. And this is the trick of the day. But when you install it, if you wanna remove the app so you can access to from apps and you will have the list of the apps you already installed. Okay, let's just click here and do remove from Chrome and it will be removed even from the folder. Let's just remove Twitter also. Remove from Chrome. And this is how we can remove apps.